So I just finished seven day water fast and this is my experience. On 25th of October, 2 p.m., I had my last meal. Uh, I didn't know it's gonna be my last meal for seven days. It happened and uh, yeah, I wanna share my experience because I posted yesterday on Instagram, I did seven day water fast and how much uh, weight I lost and everything else and a lot of people reached out to me and they're like, please tell me about your experience. First of all, uh, this is not, you know, you, you know, I'm. This is your decision to make. I'm not influencing you to do anything. I'm not a doctor. I just, uh, I have done fasting, you know, uh, back in the day, but I haven't done anything this big and it just kind of happened. It wasn't planned. It just, at one point, <laughs> I know this has been two days without eating. So I was like, okay, let's see how far I can go. And I will share my experience, what I felt, because there were some reasons why I continued to do it. The start maybe wasn't planned, but the end, of course, for sure was. Uh, so uh, this is not advice, this is not medical advice, but uh, everyone knows intermittent fasting is healthy for you, it's good for you. Prolonged fasts, uh, you know, they can be dangerous, but I haven't seen anyone having real issues, and if they have, you can just always eat, but you know, it's, uh, it's something you should prepare your body to. Um, I kind of did. Was I hungry? No. At any point, I wasn't hungry. Um, sadly, I was in a mindset uh, that I can, you know, talk about that a little bit later this year or on some other video, but I was in a mindset where I really didn't want any food. I was just, nah. And then it's been like three days, it was Thursday. I was like, oh, I haven't eaten like since Tuesday. I'm like, okay, like I'm still not hungry. And then the longer you go, you know, the more hunger just goes away. It kind of just psh, vanishes. Uh, I remember we went to see new Black Adam movie. Uh, and even then we, we hang out like in a bar and people were eating there and drinking and I was like, no, nothing and sitting watching popcorn i was like nah I, I i do not crave this so yeah it was it wasn't it wasn't bad uh i think at the end the last day when you know it's few hours you're gonna eat then you of course you start thinking more about it. but if you put yourself in a position where you're constantly around food <laughs> of course you're gonna get hungry but if you're not you're not gonna get hungry I watched a lot of videos while doing this about people who have done similar things, five days, four days, three, seven days, uh, 10 and more. And most of them didn't train. I trained every day, uh, even on Friday. So four days in, I had a sparring session where I felt amazingly good. And I was like, okay, you know, doesn't feel bad. Every day I trained. So Saturday I woke up like 6 a.m. I got up trained uh, yesterday you know right before I broke my fast I trained for three hours did cardio and things like that because uh, I'm gonna talk about the reason a little bit later but yeah uh, that was I think that helped me a lot and it, it, and I don't like recovery was pretty good and some other things happened but those are the benefits of the fast that I'm gonna talk a little bit later but you know the, the I trained and I think uh, you should I, like I felt like in training session my energy was going down like a start I was having high energy I usually could do a lot more but you don't have glycogen your body is still not adapted to this system and you know, I was like okay I'm starting to feel sluggish but then you know I drink some <laughs> drink some water with some electrolytes and I felt better and just kept going kept going and my training sessions were pretty good my weight numbers were of course they were lower uh, from what I have done previously but that's because I haven't trained since world championships and things like that drink water that's the most important thing even if you're doing like uh, just a daily fast drink water your head starts to hurt or you start feeling any kind of you know hunger anything drink water and put some Himalayan salt in it. I just have some Himalayan salt and I put it in water every time I drink it. I drank some tea, some green tea uh, before bed. I took some, uh, I, I don't know what the kind of tea, but it's good night's sleep tea, so, so it helps with sleeping. Um, sleeping was uh, interesting because I slept, like first part of the week, I pretty much didn't sleep at all for different reasons, but when, it was becoming normal. I was like sleeping six hours. So I go to sleep like at 11 
I woke up at five, six, something like that, maybe six, seven sometimes, and I'm just up straight away. And I was like, okay, I can't sleep. So I would go for a walk, I would go for training, things like that. But keeping your activity levels, that was, I think, one of the most important things. I didn't sit, like I do a lot of stuff on my computer. Like every three hours I would get up, I would go outside and walk for 10, 15 minutes, get back in and just continue working. Because, you know, if, if your fasting wants you to help with your weight loss, you, you, you need to, you need to help it. You need to move it, move the body, move around, move around. But if you're sitting and then you're going to go to the gym for three hours, you're still was sitting you know, for, for most of your day for 21 hours, you didn't move. So move as much as you can, just small, you know, just, you know, anything, just walk around. It make, made me feel better. With supplements, I took, like I said, Himalayan salt, uh, some multivitamins on last days, some electrolytes in my training sessions, nothing else. And that, that was it. Um, vitamin D, um, you know, multivitamins, they had full spectrum. So I wasn't even into that uh, thinking. Uh, yeah. So first of all, why I did it. I've been getting kind of chubby and I know it. Uh, it's been... It's been too long. I was used to be a 75, 80 kilo guy. And this year I ended up on being like, like static at 90 kilos. Like uh, in the summer when they scheduled my match with Ryan Bowen, I knew I was coming in smaller guy and he was gonna get, you know, come down to 90, which was the greet up on weight. And I was like, oh, at least I need to be big. And all that weight, I was just eating up, eating up. It didn't go anywhere. And then I had world championships and I'm used to cutting weight because it's usually so easy for me to go to, you know, down. But my weight was, I think it was 90.91 or something like that. And I was struggling to make weight and I, I, I messed up my whole performance. I felt terrible. Um, it was just the whole mess. And I was thinking like, like just like, like, what's the point, you know? Uh, I am having these matches with a lot of times with guys that are bigger than me and somehow I felt that uh, this is the something I need to do just you know eat up and don't think about your diet and don't think about things like that and uh, yeah so I was like let's get of this double chin let's get rid of this double chin <laughs> let's uh, let's see some abs let's see some muscle separation you know things like that just get healthy and then the things that I noticed, because that was my plan, I was gonna, I was gonna reduce my body weight and I'll see where I go and to talk about reduction as well. But uh, what I noticed, like every day, like I have some issues with my shoulder, right arm, right here. I had some uh, brachialis issues right here. I had tricep issues for almost two years, gone. And if not gone, one out of 10. Like four days in, tricep was better. Didn't feel anything, just amazing. Uh, five days in, brachialis was better. My right arm felt amazingly good. My shoulder issue, I think I, I kind of fixed it on last two days. It just, you know, I did my shoulder workout and after that shoulder workout, whatever I had here, like I, I couldn't even touch it. I was having pain right here. I was thinking like by September night, this and I'm too lazy to figure it out. All gone, all gone. Felt amazing. I was like, okay, uh, knots in my sh in my neck and my shoulders. Everything just feels free. My back is very messed up. Much better. Not 100%, but much much better. I felt like because I was doing still stretching and things like that, and it just. I don't know if it's a reduction in inflammation, all the autophagy and things like that that's happened with prolonged fast, but. Feels good, feels really, really good. Uh, that was one thing, of course, my skin, which is already, uh, like Neil Pickup says, uh, like a uh, skin of a newborn seal. Uh, skin got better, uh, healing increased. Like I said, the sleep was just very small, like very, like six hours and I'm ready to go and I feel refreshed, I feel good, I feel mentally, every, everything is fine. So. That was really good. I and um, I'm having when when I eat, I'm having these huge crashes of insulin, and not having that for a week helped me a lot. I just 
that was really good. When when you eat a meal, like I usually need to take a nap, and I hate it. Uh, even if I do a walk, I just hate it. So I'm hoping that will kind of help me with that. And of course, reduction in body weight and reduction in fat. So my starting weight, and I know this when I arrived on on Monday, uh, I was 91 kilos, 91 kilos, and on 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 Tuesday, <laughs> November second, uh, I was 84.55, seven kilograms, something like that, close to seven kilograms. It's a lot, and. I noticed like I had a lot of fat that I was carrying around. It was still like, even, like I didn't take picture before and I didn't take picture after because it wasn't planned. But like, you can see it on my face. You can see my face. You can see my double chin is almost completely gone. I feel like you know the bone line, everything else. I feel my arms. I feel <laughs> it's getting there, and I feel much much better. I can't express it enough. And uh, today I had a great night's sleep uh, after that. And I'll talk about refeeding as well, but the reduction in body weight and how much fat I was, st I'm still holding on. Cause like I can see a little bit of my abs, you know, but it's it's still like I have a pouch here that I just want to get rid of. And most likely I will end up at 80, 81 kilos. I feel like that should be something where I should sit and figure out rest from there. But uh, I just wanna, I just don't wanna be I just don't want to have that fat there. I'll, I'll be that honest. Uh, I don't feel good. I don't feel comfortable. Uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of did it because for two years with COVID and everything else, there was a competition and just you kind of get lazy. And I didn't have discipline to keep my body in check at that time. And then I had these matches and most of the guys and some of the guys, not all of the guys are bigger than me. And, you know, coming down to weight was a disadvantage. It is like at this point, I feel I feel really good. I, I'll see how I do now, uh, where I end up. Most likely, I'm, you know, people say, "Oh, you get, you lost muscle." For sure, I lost muscle. I don't care about that. I care about the whole thing in general. I feel better. I feel really, really good. I finished my seven-day fast. My refeed. My first meal was uh, just natural yogurt with some pears and banana, as well as a few slices of watermelon. Uh, just that for an hour, and then I ordered some sushi which was a big mistake and I ordered a lot and I didn't eat a lot because I couldn't eat I was like I didn't want it. I ate like one uh, like eight eight pieces of sushi and then I was like I'm full and I was full for five, for like five hours not that I instantly fell asleep my insulin just destroyed me I instantly fell asleep so next time I'm gonna do that I'm gonna <laughs> do it a little bit better Right now, the plan is very simple. I'm gonna do incorporate some smaller fasts, so uh, maybe 48 hours, and then again, a few days of refeeding, and again, until I reach the body weight that I want, I wanna keep myself active, and I wanna, and this will go to another video where uh, my goals for 2023, but I wanna approach every part of this sport like a professional athlete. I don't wanna just have training, good and mindset good i want to have everything good and that is the plan uh so that is my experience with seven day fast to be honest it wasn't bad when you don't put food around yourself and just you know just just don't have it around laying and don't go to places just kind of isolate yourself a little bit but for me it worked i felt really good i i hope my my injuries and things that I had problems with will not come back and I'll just like, this was another reset button. Uh, yeah, that's my experience. Hope this helps with someone, you know, if you wanna try intermittent fasting, uh, 16 hours not eating, eight hours eating is a great thing to do. I think most people should do it because we eat too much, way too much. Yeah, that's my experience. Let's see where this goes.